welcome to Programma. My name is Lexi, Senior Account Manager and Fellow Interior Designer. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through Programma's core feature set. The way that I like to describe Programma is that it's broken up into three core sections. Project management, design development tools, including concept design, your product specification sheets that we refer to as schedules, as well as your client communication, procurement, and financial tools. All these tools work collaboratively together to get you from concept design all the way through to construction and delivery. So what you're seeing here is our main projects page. So this is where all of your live projects would live. You can have as many or as little as you like, and you can archive them away when the project's all wrapped up. To start a new project, you would just hit this create new project button in the top right hand corner where you can add in your project details, select the type of project that you're working on, the project address, time frame, as well as set your project currency measurement system and your tax rate all at project level. Down the bottom is some customization options where you can upload your very own cover image and assign the project to specific team members if you wish. Now heading back onto the main projects page here, you're always gonna have this left navigation bar. So you'll have the top five projects that you're frequently visiting, and then you have your tool set here on the left as well. So the time tracking to-do list in Studio, that's all part of the project management components that I mentioned in the beginning. Then below you have your procurement hub, purchase orders, and invoicing. So that's more so linked up to these specific projects and all of the products that you're specifying within them. Lastly, down the bottom here is your libraries. You have your address book, which is all of your vendor and client information. Image library is a great resource to house all of your mood board inspiration images, as well as the product library. Product library, the way I like to think of it, is a space to house all of your frequently specified items. So it is something that you would build out as a team over time, where you can save items for later, later. or if you're sourcing, working across the web, you come across a really cool pendant light, you want to save it for later, instead of having 100 million tabs open, just save it right to that product library. So once you've created your first project, that will pop up here on your main projects page. As I said, this is your home screen. So if you ever need to get back to that main, main page, just hit the projects button here. The first thing I would recommend doing is heading up into your account settings. This is where you could set up all of your studio settings. So you have your own personal account, your organization settings where you can upload your studio's logo and any other company information, as well as your terms and conditions and pop through all of these other tabs here. The people is all of your team members and your invoicing section is where you can add in all of your default tax rates as well as integrate with Stripe or QuickBooks and um, for the invoicing side of the platform. Moving on, I'm going to jump into my Yorkville project here. So inside each project, you'll notice that there are two different tabs. So I have my files, which are all files that associate to my Yorkville project. To start your new files, you can hit this plus button in the bottom right hand corner. So the program of files are schedules and pin boards. So your pin boards is going to be that mood board concept tool where your schedules refer to your specification sheets. So again, you can have as many or as little as you like. I'm going to start off by showing you project management. So I'm going to pop into the project management tab here. So project management, this is how you're going to track all of your tasks, timelines, and to-do lists within your team, just to stay on track and where you can track all of your time amongst all of those specific tasks as well. So you'll notice the pattern that everything on Programma is broken up into these handy tabs. So you can easily click through all the different aspects and information within the platform. Within project management tab, I have board view, list view, and the timeline view. So what I'm showing you here is our board view. So this is a Kanban style system. Everything is broken up into four different columns so I can easily see 
all of my to-do tasks, what may be in progress, what needs reviewing, or what may already be completed. First things first, what you would do is hit this file, for file folder looking button up in the right-hand corner here, where you can set if the project is in the planning phase, if it's already active, and move it down to done when you are finished. Start and end date would be your basic time frame of that project, whether it's one month or it's two years. You can set the dates there just by easily dragging and dropping through the entire project time frame there. Then you can set up your team members so you can see everybody who's collaborating on that specific project, as well as customize all of your different project phases. So we do have templates built into Programma that you can use and duplicate within your studio or you can rename these to be whatever you like if there is different verbiage that you like to use within your studio. Again, there is a time frame that you can associate to every single phase of the project as well. So that's really important for utilizing the timeline. So that's actually going to set up your Gantt chart style with these different time frames associated to each phase. So once that's set up, you can easily Again, get a snapshot of all of the tasks that you're working on. So if I click onto these cards here, I have my overall task. I have my subtasks within it. I can assign these to my specific team members as well as add a target date or a due date, if you will. A key date is associated to a milestone date. So if you want that to show up on your timeline view, I would just hit this toggle there. And then you're going to associate these tasks to a spe specific phase of the project as well. From within these task cards, you can also comment back and forth to your other team members just to keep all of that communication internal within the platform. So you're not having to email back and forth about specific tasks while you're collaborating together as well as a space for attachments. So for example, if I was working on my documentation drawing, I can upload the PDF of my floor plan right to this task card. So it's all organized in one place. Lastly, you'll notice there is a stopwatch function here. So that is for tracking your time. And you can either have this running in the background while you're working or manually add your time at the end of the day. And now to wrap, wrap up the project management component, I'm gonna pop over to Studio, which is your bird's eye view of all of the projects that you have on the go, as well as all of your team members, all of your tasks, all in one place. So great for project managers. If you wanna pop into here, you can assign everybody their work. You can filter it down by person, by a specific project, or by due date, if you just wanna see what's going on this week as well as compare all of your projects on that timeline view to actually get a snapshot of what's overlapping, what's in construction at the same time across a month, a quarter, or the whole year. Next up is our Pinboard presentation tool. So Pinboards are your tool for creating beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, clean looking presentations or concept boards. So you can build out a presentation using images from your computer or using our super simple Pinterest integration, which I love. So all you need to do is copy and paste your Pinterest board link directly into the pin board. And as you can see, it'll automatically populate all of those pictures from my Pinterest board. You can also utilize the images that you've imported into that image library or your product library, which would be imagery that of products that you've already specified into the platform. Again, just streamlining that process, you can quickly pull together a concept board or a mood board presentation in a couple of clicks. So all of these images just simply drag and drop around. You can resize them using these toggles here, as well as crop any imagery and easily create all your different sections within the platform. This can be shared with your clients or anybody who's working on the project within a click of a button where you can easily add it to that client dashboard or copy and paste that link and share it to the, your clients via email or text message, which turns your presentation into a beautiful live website, which again, looks 
super clean, professional, and put together in a couple of clicks. Now, diving into our schedule tool, which can be considered the hero feature of Programma. So this is where all of your specifications and products will live. Again, this is project specific and can be customized depending on how your studio likes to separate all of your schedules and lay out your specification sheets. So you have your overarching schedule title, and this is then broken up into different subsections. So as you can see here, I have mine broken up by product type with all of the rooms listed out underneath each product. You can separate these by room or by paint schedule, doors and windows, whatever you really need it to be, or you can separate them into a couple of different schedules. So lots of options there. Within your summary view, that's gonna be a snapshot of all of your specification data. So think measurements, finishes, your brand, image, lead time, quantity, everything that you need to see at a glance when you are working through your projects. Within this details tray here is where you can add multiple images. Again, get a snapshot of all of that product information where you can edit everything as well as, well as add any custom spec notes, important information, internal notes, et cetera. So a ton of room for detail within the spec sheets themselves. Now, as you've noticed throughout the entire platform, everything is broken up into these nice clean tabs along the top here. So you have your summary view and then you have your financial view. So this is where all of your retail pricing, trade pricing, trade discount percentages and markup percentages, as well as your client pricing would live. This is kind of a plug and play system. So you're just inputting those numbers, say your retail price, and a trade discount and it'll do all of the calculations for you as well as calculate that markup and your profits for you in a couple clicks. You then have a snapshot of all of the totals at the top so you can see where you're sitting budget wise as well as profitability wise. Now two different great ways to specify within the schedules. So when I'm hovering over the bottom here is where you can either add a custom product. So that would be, as it sounds, custom. You can fill in these details yourself manually, but we're trying to get away from that. So let's look at the other two ways you can specify, either using our Programma Web Clipper. So this is a Google Chrome extension that will live up in the top of your toolbar. It's really easy to add. You just hit this Add to Chrome button, it'll pop up there. And all you need to do is head on to the product website and open up the clipper. So it'll look like this side navigation bar here where all you need to do, it does move left and right like I just showed you there, is highlight that information. So say this is the product name, I'll click product name, it'll fill it out for me. So I just go through in a couple clicks, fill out price, here's my finish scroll through and it's going to pull all of that information. It will also pull these pesky warranty guides, installation sheets that we usually have to keep track of and download and re-upload just by using the attachment button. If you click on the PDF, it'll attach that document directly to the product itself. So a couple clicks, you're all good to go. The nice thing about this web clipper as well is that you can clip into your product library or to a pin board. So you have a couple of different options of where you want to put those products and save them for later within the platform. Now, the second rapid fire way to get specification information into that schedule is by utilizing our brand new add from URL tool. And just as it sounds, all you need to do is literally copy and paste the link from a supplier website. So as you can see, I'm on CB2 here. So I'm just going to copy hit paste, hit add, and within a couple seconds, that will input all of my spec data. So you can see within about 10 seconds, it's inputted about 80 to 90% of that data. So again, quickly pulling all the information from the web without having to manually input anything. Now I do still double check all of my work. I'll add in my quantity. You can add your supplier in and add any extra images if you like which is always good to just add your extra details as you're going through. So once you're happy with everything that's in this schedule, this is what's gonna now move through 
all the different phases of that project. So this is a working document. It does live on the cloud, so it is going to always be updated with the most recent information. So whether it's a furniture schedule or you're working on more hard finishes and you're sharing this with tradespeople, they're always going to have the most up-to-date information without having to download a hard copy of that info every single time, which is still possible on programma. You can export to PDF and Excel if you need to, but the idea is we're trying to get away from that. So just by hitting the share button within a click of a button, they'll have a live linked version to that schedule. So it'll say when I last updated everything, they'll still have access to all of that summary information, as well as all of the important details that you spend so much time inputting. Everything's all in that live link. Now, whether you're sharing this with tradespeople or you're sharing it with your clients, again, you, all you would need to do is hit the share button and you can publish all of the live links and files onto a client dashboard via email. So you do have control over what the client is seeing. So you can turn on and off specific toggles and you can also choose who gets approval on those specific products. Within a click of a button in their email, which is all mobile friendly so they can open it from their phone, you can generate something that looks like this. So this would be a client facing dashboard where all of my live specification sheets live those beautiful pin boards that I spent so much time putting together will all live in one place, as well as any Canva embedded documents, any external files, so your documentation, drawings, elevations, floor plans, contracts, whatever you need the client to have, as well as any invoices that you have generated from within the platform can all live seamlessly in one place on the client dashboard. Essentially, the client dashboard brings everything together into one place visually, so it's super easy to access for your clients, as well as a place to review and get approval on all of the selections that you spend so much time inputting. So within a click of a button, they can pop into all of the specification sheets into their very own approval and feedback tab, where they can approve and reject every single item and leave you feedback, which all filters back into your schedule or do them all in one bulk go if need be. This is going to remove the endless back and forth emails and just keeps all of that communication in one place, ensuring that your clients are always up to date on what's going on with all of your projects. So that's a quick overview of how Programma helps you manage projects, create impactful presentations, specify products, collaborate with clients and suppliers, and manage your procurement and financials all in one place. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these tools, check out our video help guide library or book in a demo with one of our designer team. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.